who have expertise in night auditing to now assist them to complement whatever their efforts are. What sort of efforts? You're talking about diplomacy or you're talking yes, about military yes. intervention? Yeah. Because you see, let me... Which one of them precisely are you talking about? Mediatory intervention. Let me tell you one thing that happened. I will show you there's a letter here. The Air Chairman gave it to us. The letter was written by Americans to the wife. And they were telling the wife to tell him to receive this ECOWAS delegation when the Kokomo was to go there, and I should accept the result, then that they are working towards getting favorable country that will take him on exile. Mm -hmm. Now, he said that to him, this letter means that ECOWAS is not even in charge in the military role. One. And two, that why should they suggest that he should leave his country? So, you can see what I'm saying, that he already had a bias about those people intervention. But a leader who wants to sit tight will have a million and one excuses. I mean, he, he will always find reason for wanting to sit tight other than looking at the main reason. I mean, if you decide that you want to conduct elections and find out what the will of the people is and the will of the people prevails, why wouldn't you bow to the will of the people? Yes, I agree with that's you. The best, that's the key See, question. What we have said, yes, you must, we must, if you are rejected in the pool, you must accept it because that is the will of the people. Isn't that what this is about? Uh, that is what you said about. What we are only trying to say is this is his own reason for doing what he has done. It is left for us to look at it and say whether is this reason justifiable on the route he's now taking. We are not saying no, we support you or do not support you. Because the president-elect also wanted them to meet. You see, the problem is that if Somebody has brought both of them to meet. I'm sure they would have resolved this problem. The two persons. With the uh, Independent Electoral Commission. And the third candidate that won. He also said yes. But they prefer a meeting. But they were nobody was able to bring them to meet and leave them. Let, let us see whether you cannot solve this problem. Do mm. you think that that would have worked? Yes, it would have worked. Because all of them accepted it. So the African, is this your personal opinion? Or this is the opinion of the African Bar Association? In that's, terms of the intervention. That's, that's, that's the opinion of the African Association. This they, they're not exactly so in support of this intervention by ECOWAS. No, we are saying that the intervention should have come last. The, what they are doing, if the military intervention should come last when you have exhausted the mediatory role. That's what we are saying. We are, you see, there is no so how... So for you, the mediatory role has not been exhausted? Yes. That's what we think. The attempts that we've seen at mediation were not sufficient. No, they are not good enough from, from, from our point of view, from our, uh, what we saw in the field. Mm. Now, whether or not, I don't know, from what we can see now, we can see that it would seem that ECOWAS is actually set to, you know, deploy troops mm. in the event that, you know, Yaya Jami doesn't step down by midnight today. Mm. Um, how do you see, I know that, you know, you, you people believe that that should have been a last resort, but how do you see that panning out, especially after, um, after perhaps he's been removed? What we are praying for is that if what ECOWAS wants to do can end up without creating any humanitarian crisis, all well and good. Mm. All well and good. That's the way we look at it. All well and good. Our concern is about the Gambian people and what they will go through in this type of situation. Because we know that there will now be a casualties. Who are the casualties? It won't be the political juggernauts. It will be the small, small people. The, the businesses will get bad. If you look at Gambia, I think Asatna is the safest place for destination for tourism. We are there. Is this uh, this European planes? We are coming air browsers and bringing people. There are so many people, and that is their main Maybe source say. of yeah. So in this type of situation, fear. Nobody will go there. The economy also will suffer. And small agrarian thing they are doing in that Gambia. Then traders. I think the traders are mainly Nigerians. Then uh, their civil service also have a lot of Nigerians. Uh, because I think they are not equipped. Uh, even the many of the uh, lawyers, they are also Nigerians. Which is what a leader ought to think about yes. in terms of you know putting the interest of his people. This we put all this to them. The two all the parties when we went there, we told them all this. 
That is why they even accepted, okay, now they will meet. We told them, sit down as brothers and sort out to agree on what to do and let this thing not get to this stage where there will be outside interference. Because we told them that outside interference is not good for them. It's not good for the country. It's not good for them. And they, they should remember that this is not about them. As leader, it's about the Gambian people. Mm. Let's talk about this non-interference, which is another, mm. uh, you know, anchor uh, 